Open up questions. Wait, Anything you may have. Marvin, the biggest teaching point a a after? Um, yeah, decision making there, I think. Um, you know, I think if we were to do that again, we'd want to fair catch that ball. It's a little bit of a shame because, you know, we had that, that perimeter guy that got in his way, but really the blocking on it was excellent. You know, if he ends up catching that and we can get around the corner, you can see on the tape there's some room to run. But to answer your question, probably best best a fair catch that one, and that'll just go with maturity and seeing more reps. Do you ever sense that it, part of it is you, you talked about waiting for pitches to hit, but there hasn't necessarily been a lot of those? Do you, do you sense any of that is like eagerness to, to just want to make a play? No, I think a lot of athletes just want to want to have the opportunity to showcase their skills. I don't think there's any more stress level or any more anxiety, um, you know, one way or the other. So that, that'll come with time. I would just suggest to you that, you know, decision making and that's one we could probably fair catch. Coach, not, not specifically with Marvin, but in general with young players when you have a talented returner, how do you balance giving them opportunities to, get, to learn from their mistakes while also knowing that, that can't help, you can't have so many of those that are consistent? Yeah, with Marvin, we've got you know a complete trust in him, and so that that's not a situation where we're going to move on or anything along those lines. So you just continue to build the confidence, put them in the situations. We, we work some drills today you know, that try to simulate that, and we try to replicate the best that we can in practice, and we've done that. So, again, you know, through this short period of time, he's done a tremendous job, and um, he'll grow from that and learn from it, and uh, really excited just to, just to see those opportunities continue to, uh, to materialize for him. Sean mentioned his resilience, kind of that mental toughness that stood out about Marvin in the pre-draft process. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I see. Uh, like I said, I see. I see a, a guy that works hard. He's very committed to his craft, whether it's at the wide receiver position or the return position, kickoff and punt return. So, we're asking, you know, a lot of them, and he's he's met that challenge. And uh, I think the arrow just points up for him. What is the toughest part of the short week preparation from your perspective? Uh, well, from from our perspective, is just getting enough information, you know, to the players so that they're they're prepared. And I think we've we we have done that. So. Um, you know, the, the short week is, is for both teams, and, um, you know, I think uh, that we've done a good job in this short period of time getting ready to, to play a very, very good Kansas City team. Dave Tobe led special teams. You know, what do you expect when you play against them? Yeah, Dave has done a great job for a lot of years. Obviously, he had Hester in Chicago, you know, for these years, those those years, and then he had Tyreek Hill in Kansas City. So we expect them to be at their best. They're a very competitive letter. They're well coached. Um, they're very technically sound, and so uh, we'll have to be at our best. Okay, guys. Thank you. All right, thanks.